Yeah, and I think my dad has this one saying where um, all his children need to learn how to cook. Like, how can he be a chef but that his daughters don't know how to cook? I'm the owner of Nonya Pok Pok K and we are located at Pasir Central Hawker Centre and I'm selling Peranakan food. We reach the store about 9 uh, and then afterwards we do the prep and everything and we open for lunch at 12. So usually the earliest we finish our prep is like 11.45 to 11.50 um, and then we open from 12 to 3 and then we have a short break in between so it's about 45 minutes to an hour, then we start prepping for the dinner service. Okay, so we practically have uh, two kind of main dishes uh, for the chicken. So one is called the ayam curry kapitan, which is our signature. So it's a little bit uh, spicy. Uh, then this is for set A. So we also have the blue pea rice and the chak chai and the sambal egg. So set A is a bit more like small spicy. And then we have the other second uh, chicken dish, which is called the ayam seal. So that's non-spicy and it's a little bit sweet and sour. So we use a uh, dark soy sauce and asam. Yeah, so that gives that kind of taste. Uh, so for the side dishes, we have the French bean with heavy and the pickled radish omelette, along with the rice. Lah. Yeah, so these are the dishes that we mostly sell in the store. My dad used to be a chef um, and my mom is a pure pranakan. So my dad took a lot of interest in cooking the Pranakan cuisine and he thought it was a very unique and challenging cuisine to do. Yeah, so he started um, learning from cookbooks and so he's totally like self-taught. Yeah, so I learned from my dad. Yeah, so the ironic thing is that my mom's the Pranakan but she doesn't know how to cook. So we always say that my dad used his cooking to like woo her. Yeah, so I learned from my dad lah, mostly. The journey is that it started off as a home-based business. Yeah, so it was actually to raise funds for my um, second sister's university uh, fee. So uh, my parents uh, started um, like a private dining, like we call it Tok Panjang. So basically, we it's called long, long table. Uh. Yeah, so we'll have um, we we'll invite guests over, and then afterwards uh, we'll have like many dishes um, that they can choose from. Uh. Yeah, then afterwards, uh, we managed to reach that amount that we needed to raise for my sister's university fees. So, um, at the point of time, I think I was still working, but I was helping out at home, like, just if they need help. Lah. So, I decided to do it uh, full-time. Yeah, so, we were home-based for a little while, continuing that, and then we had um, orders also coming along. So, afterwards, we transited to a physical store. So that was at the basement of Hong Leong building and then that was called uh, Baba Bento. So Baba means uh, male pranakan, yeah, and, and but Bento is because we sell it in Bento set. So um, we only sell the lunch crowd then, so we opened that store for about um, 8 to 9 months. And then afterwards, um, yeah, we closed because the rental was really very high and we only serve like one like crowd, lah. so it's very hard to keep up with the cost. Yeah, so we, I decided to go back to the uh, corporate world. Yeah, so I was working a job that was also in the F&B industry, but I was doing like events and com communications. Yeah, then afterwards, it was only recently that we opened up the store. So the name of the store is called Nona Popoke. Yeah, so Popoke is because um, the name of the sound that the chicken makes. Yeah, and then Nona is because. If you say popoke, then a lot of people will not differentiate or know what exactly we are selling. It can be fried chicken or grilled chicken. Yeah, so the nonya is to differentiate to show that we are selling peranakan cuisine. Now. Yeah, and nonya is because I'm a nonya myself. Yeah, so that's why the name nonya popoke. Growing up, I was very inspired by my dad, very influenced because he grew up cooking a lot at home, right? Yeah, so I think. Um, I really cultivated the love for food from that. Yeah, and I think my dad has this one saying where 
um, all his children need to learn how to cook. Like, how can he be a chef but that his daughters don't know how to cook? Uh, when I was in Polytechnic, yeah, then I think I was, so I, I'm part of the Christian faith. Yeah, so I was praying and seeing like where I would want to go in the future. And uh, yeah, because I think I was just like searching a lot of times. Yeah, so I think like when I was praying, I, I, I had the inspiration to open up a store. Lah. Yeah, so I didn't know at that point of time like when or how it would come about. Um, I think it was always at the back of my mind um, because it seemed so far-fetched. Like, and it seemed quite daunting at the point of time. I was 20 at the point of time, I think. Yeah. And so I decided to go out in the working world first to gain some experience and exposure. Yeah, so um, I wanted to continue the Pranakan legacy and heritage because it's a very rich culture. And I feel that um, there's a lot of people who don't really know about the cuisine yet. Yeah, so I think I wanted to open up a hawker, right? Because the idea is to provide um, affordable and authentic uh, Pranakan meals to people. So we wear like, um, this is not a full-fledged like uh, kebaya, it's like just a modern take of a kebaya top. You know, it's like any other restaurant where like, they will have a team maybe, that they will wear like a certain uniform. So technically this is like our uniform that we wear at the store. I think my parents are a huge inspiration to me. Um, they are very, very supportive and very encouraging and that's why I even that to also made the step to open like a store because I think without that kind of like support system it's very hard to to, to open a, a store it's too tiring the hours are very long um, it's very high commitment also yeah so I think having a good like support system especially with your family um, it really helps la. in the future in the long run I think the idea is I wouldn't mind expanding yeah but I think um, I focus is that I want to do like this current store well. Yeah, so a lot of people ask like, will we want to add more dishes to our menu? Um, but I think for now, like I'm comfortable, because we're also quite new, I'm comfortable with having the current dishes. I think one of the things that we pride ourselves in is that we always prepare everything with a lot of love. Yeah, so I think a lot of people who eat it, like they can taste that it tastes like home cooked. Yeah, so it feels very warm for like customers for Pranakans themselves say that it reminds them of their mothers or actually their grandmothers cooking. Yeah, I think so that's something that is very encouraging for us when we hear it. Yeah, that we know that we are providing food that actually warms like the soul of people who eat it. Lah. Thank you for watching this video. If you have the time you can swing by and drop by in the east and have some panakan food. See you. Bye.